Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to the channel. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I am absolutely loving boot mode. It's just been such a huge improvement to the car. It's just so much more exciting to drive my car now, now that we have boot mode. It's just so much faster. It's so, it's so much faster. But as difficult as it is to contain my excitement about boot mode, we have something else to be excited about today, you guys. We now have forged carbon mirror caps. As far as I know, we are the first in the world to have these. So I do know that there are a lot of forged carbon parts coming out for the F30. I've seen a few things leaked by a couple of different companies. I'm not gonna name the companies, but we are starting to see more forged carbon or exposed carbon, I guess as they call it, which is cool, which is really cool. I think the forged carbon is, is such a sick, uh, sick improvement to the styling of these cars and we're lucky to be able to have those kind of products for our cars Here's the only thing that I run into with the forged carbon if you have Everything else in the car that is already carbon and you go forged with like mirror caps I mean do I have to go forged with everything else because I have a lot of carbon on this car <laughs> So it's one of those things man. It's like uh, Okay, all right, so now we got some forged carbon pieces coming out and how's it gonna look mixed in with the normal carbon? Like, am I gonna be able to roll like that? Or do I have to switch out everything to forged carbon? Which I'm not mad about. I'm not I'm not upset about that. Like, I'm actually totally down to switch everything out to, to forged carbon if that's what it comes down to. But for today, we're gonna go ahead and install these forged carbon caps on the car. If you guys have seen my video before, I've already done a video on installing mirror caps, but you know what? We're just gonna do another one because this is a new product and I just wanna show you guys how to do it. It's important to note that you should not be doing this, you should not be doing this install or change or replacement if you if it's cold out. If it's cold out, you are more than likely going to crack the glass on your mirrors. Um, you do have to pull back on the back side of the glass a little bit. And also another important note, make sure that you guys get a trim tool set. Do not try this without a trim tool set. You will likely break something um, and a trim tool set's like $10 on Amazon. You really don't have any excuse to not uh, to get yourself a trim tool set. I use mine all the time. Anything in the interior, anything that's plastic that you need to get out, um, I end up using a trim tool set and it's one of those tools that you just, it's a must have. It's a must have in the garage. So yeah, you guys, so that's the deal for today. Super excited. I, dude, I think they look so sick. Like super, super sick, forged carbon. Man, like, <laughs> uh, could you imagine all products on this car, all the carbon parts that I have? Let's see, let's try to name them all. Uh, the rear diffuser, the rear splitters, the rear, the rear spoiler, the shark fin on top, the carbon fiber uh, extensions on the side skirts, the carbon fiber grill, the uh, front varus lip, the eyelids, I think that's everything. I think that's everything on the outside, but could you imagine all of that being forged carbon? All of it. Like how sick would that be? So right now we only have the forged carbon uh, in stock and ready to sell, but I'm sure we're gonna be expanding into other products. Um, we're doing some R&D and some other stuff. So if you guys are interested in getting a set of these, I'm gonna put all the links to everything you need down below. I'm gonna put the link to the actual forged carbon mirror caps. I'm gonna put a link to the uh, the trim tool set and you guys will be set. That's everything you need. Dude, so many burbles in this car right now. See how many people we can make mad. <laughs> ga, 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 ga. You know we need coffee. You know I gotta get coffee. Hi, Walter Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Hi, can I have a lightly iced venti latte? Um, and that that'll be it. Just a that. what, please? A lightly iced venti latte. Oh, so you want an iced? I mean, I thought that. Yeah, just just with light ice. Oh, okay, please. Pull on around. Thank you. Thanks so much. I throw them off guard with that light ice, but that's how I get that's how I get more coffee because they load in that ice and it just turns the water. And you don't need all that. What do you need all that for? You know what I'm saying? Y'all know. 
don't need to tell you. You guys know what's up. So these are the caps. You guys didn't have to tell me what you think. They're super gorgeous. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, good, good. That makes me happy. Yeah, so I think you guys are gonna really dig these. Um, they're super easy to install. Honestly, they're one of my favorite things to put on the car because they make such a big difference in photos. Um, you can notice, you can notice them like crazy. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. Take your time. Also, what do y'all think of the new beanies? Should I drop them? I haven't put them on the website yet, but I'm thinking about dropping them. Little late, little late but you guys in the north might be able to appreciate them. They're dope though, they got the, uh, the embroidery on them and come in a couple of different colors. You guys comment down below and let me know if you want me to drop them. Oh, uh, thanks so much, take care. Yeah. All right, let's get burbly, bro. And I'm gonna have to go stage two. Like there, there's just no question about it. Once you have like a taste of a tune, like and I've been driving it for like a few days now, once you have the taste of it and you just see the potential in it and like you know how easy it is to just flash your car to that next stage, it's literally just like taking that cheese and placing it right in front of the rat. Like you just, temptation is so, the temptation is so real. So like now that I, I see the potential and I know how easy it is, and really all I have to do is get the downpipe to enable me to get stage two, um, I'm like mentally already there. So we're, we're definitely gonna be doing it. We're gonna be doing stage two. We're gonna be doing the catalyst downpipe. Or I don't know if I'm gonna do a cat downpipe or catalyst. I think I have to go catalyst though. So I'm gonna have to make friends with someone at the inspection uh, department because you know, this, this car ain't gonna pass inspections, bro. First and foremost, we're gonna get this timing chain guide fixed. Um, I already got the shop getting the stuff that I need to get it done, and we're gonna take care of that ASAP. I did have someone comment though on the video talking about the timing chain guide, the timing chain issue, and he said that he took his, I believe he had a 2013 328 or something like that, he took it into the BMW dealership, was complaining about whine, the whining noise, which is like the telltale sign that you have the issue of the timing chain and timing chain guide, and BMW is covering everything. And so he's he's got that extended warranty to like 70,000 miles that BMW placed on the timing chain. So like they're more, like they know about it. My only thing is, I don't know, even with the extended warranty, I don't know if I'd be able to, first of all, I hate taking my car to the dealership. I absolutely hate it. The last thing I wanna do is drag my car into the dealership because I just, honestly, I don't trust them. I don't trust dealerships whatsoever. And um, the last thing I wanna do is take my car in there and I know everything that's been done to this car and I know everything that's been worked on and it's been done correctly. And I don't want someone, the last thing I want to have happen is that the dealership jumps in the engine bay, starts ripping all the stuff out that, I, that we worked so hard to put in and do correctly for them to just sloppily reinstall it. Because they don't care about your used, tuned 3 Series. I promise you they care less about it the one thing they want to do is get that car in and out as fast as possible. So, for me to take it to a shop and pay to have it done properly and know that it's being done the correct way, it's worth it. And uh, even if, I don't know, I don't think BMW would cover the warranty for me just because I have so much done with this car, but even if they were to, I probably wouldn't. It, it's just me, man. I, I'm like super picky about who works on my cars. And um, I only trust Dynamic Auto Tune. That they're my local shop sponsor, and I only trust them to touch this car. Only them. <laughs> that was my brother's wife. They just got an X7, the brand new X7. I'm gonna do a video on it. Do you guys wanna see a video on the 2019 X7? So we're gonna head back to the house right now. We're gonna throw the carbon fiber mirror caps on, the forged carbon mirror caps on, and dude, I am so jacked to see them on the car. I'm excited to see people's reactions, and I also think that it's super dope that this is the only F30 in the world that has forged carbon mirror caps. Like, that's, that's pretty tight, that's pretty tight. Also, I've had a few of you guys kind of riding me to get the updated screen in the car, um, the updated head unit screen, and I am doing it, that's coming next, and then I'm also doing the M Sport steering wheel. Oh, I know, dude, I said I never would do it. I know, I had plenty of videos back there, I was like, oh, I'm fine with the Sport one, and honestly, I am, but um, I think it's cool, it's good content, and 
I just want to upgrade it to the new one. I think, um, yeah, I think it just feels better and it looks better. The greatest thing about the M Sport wheel, honestly, dude, honestly, bruh, the coolest thing about the M Sport wheel is it's so easy to take on and off. You know what's not easy to take on and off? The baseline wheel. Pain in the butt. All right, cool. Let's hop out and let's put these carbon forged mirror caps on. All right, we are in the garage, back in the garage, and here are the actual carbon fiber, forged carbon fiber mirror caps. And then also we're gonna be using all right guys, so here are the trim tools that you should get. Um, they're only $10 or something like that, right around 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description. And here are, oh boy, here are the forged carbon mirror caps. So here we go, let's take this one over to the front so I can show you guys what they look like, dude. So bam, what do y'all think? Dude. What do you think? Carbon forged, carbon forged. I don't know, man. Also, I'm not selling these, so don't ask me. <laughs> so I know that's gonna be a thing. I'm not selling them. So, so that's what we're gonna do, dude. But the question is like, oh, it looks so good in the sun. Look at that, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> question is does it work does it work with like the lip I think it works I don't think you even need to get rid of I don't think I need to replace everything with forged carbon I think I could still rock the carbon and rock these so I'm gonna show you guys how to install these um, it's not too difficult you just have to be careful you just have to be really careful when you're taking off this glass because you can crack it and if it's cold where you live wait till it's warmer that's my suggestion. You can give it a go. If you want to try it out, go for it. But I do not recommend trying this. If it's cold out, you will likely crack the glass. All right, you guys, so the first thing we want to do is we want to tilt this glass back as far as possible so we can get a trim tool underneath and pry out. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop in the car and actually tilt those mirrors back. Uh, just go ahead and put it in accessory mode, foot off the brake. And then, of course, you can just manually tilt that back, hold up, so we get as much room as possible out of it. And then go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. All right, so in order to get the glass out, we have to get this trim tool underneath this glass part. And there's actually like a circular disc right in here that has a bunch of clips that holds the glass in. So what I wanted to do is use the fattest trim tool that I have in the set, which is this one. And that will just apply the most coverage to the back so I'm not putting more pressure on just one little part, which will end up breaking the glass much easier. So this way, it's kind of spread out and we get a little more even coverage. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold the actual glass piece, feel back here, not go too far, pry, just like that. And you're gonna feel it kind of come out. And what you wanna do is kind of work your way around that circle in there and get the rest of the clips. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like once you have it off. So here's the actual circle that I'm talking about. It's got a bunch of clips on it and clips on the actual mirror. And this is what holds it in. So when you're doing this, you just wanna apply a little bit of pressure to the bottom. I usually find that like going in on the side is a little bit easier to pop it off. But make sure that you hold your hand on top so you're not just putting pressure on one side. If this is your first time doing this, it's gonna be much more difficult. Um, but just be patient and don't get too crazy with it because you can crack that glass. So if you guys look inside of the mirror assembly, you're gonna see these little, little clips right here. We actually need to push those in and push out in order to get the actual cap off. So there's one right there, one right here, right there up top, and then one over here in the corner. And once you get those three unclipped, that cap will come right off. So you may or may not need a tool for this. Uh, last time I did it, I did need a tool, but you just kind of want to push them both in at the same time and then apply a little pressure so they move out a little bit. And then you just work your way around. And it may help a little bit to pull on the actual mirror while you're popping these out. Just like that. So these are the actual little clips that we're working out. And we're just pressing those in and pushing in order to get the mirror cap off. 
And you guys remember that this being a new cap, it might be a little more difficult to get on. Just take your time with it, line it up, be patient. Patience is the key to anything in life, my friends. So I like to line everything up, make sure I see all the clips coming through a little bit. And you can go ahead and start applying pressure. Looks like everything went through. Dude, it lines up perfectly too. Fitment is on point. So after that, you guys, we can go ahead and get the mirror back in. Let's see how I add this here. I believe it just goes like that. And when you're putting the mirror back in, just make sure you're applying pressure to everything around that disc. Just clip it right back in just like that. Dude, so that's them installed. I think they look so dope. I think I really like them. They're kind of, dude, they're just so different. Like, no one has them, so they're just so different. Carbon, right? And don't get me wrong, you guys, I still really like the carbon. But this is just different, and I wanna try something new for a while. Maybe I'll go back to carbon in a little bit. Who knows, but these look really good. Forged carbon is just so pretty. Like, it looks so cool. I'm in love with it. Okay, so yes, I am fully aware that my headlamp is the dopest thing you've ever seen. So that is one side, we're gonna go ahead and do the second side, and obviously I'm not gonna explain it again, I'm just gonna do a little time lapse and then show you guys outside in the sun how these look on the car. I think they look good though. All right, you guys. So we've got them on. They look sick. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think, man? I think they look pretty good. I like them. I'm gonna rock them. We're gonna stick with them. All right, so it's burning up in the garage. I'm gonna wrap up this video, but I'm also gonna do some, some video at the end of this um, outside so you guys can see the, the forged carbon in the sun. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, please do subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if you dig the new forged carbon mirror caps. Do you like them? Should I stick with the, the normal carbon? Should I get rid of all of them together and just go back to black? What should I do? I think I'm sticking with the forged carbon. I think they're dope. Also, I'm not selling my carbon ones. I like having the carbon ones just in case. So I'm not gonna get rid of those. But I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you like this video. Turn on those bell notifications just like that. This video is over and I'm out. Peace.